So as most of you know, buying a watch is not really an inexpensive endeavor. And if you're like many of us, you're always looking for the best deal possible before pulling the trigger on a watch. However, sometimes affordability can certainly be a double-edged sword. What's going on everybody? My name is Teddy Baldassar, and in this video, we are gonna be discussing the dangers of affordable watches. And some of you are probably like, what are you talking about? What are the dangers of that? So let's just not waste any time and jump into the video. All right, first we have to do the wristwatch check. You guys always demand this. So I am wearing an Omega Admiralty. So this is an Omega reference 166038. Uh, this is a watch, it's a vintage watch from 1960s and 70s. This one's specifically from 72. It was a line that was created for teens and early professionals. And it's really cool to be wearing a watch uh, here decades later that was intended for people just like me in this time and era. So really awesome watch. Like I've said in many occasions, Vintage Omega in this price range is fantastic. All right guys, before we really jump into the video, I first have to preface this. It's your money, you can do whatever you want with it. I just have some thoughts here based on a few comments that I saw left on some of my past videos regarding the subject. So for the sake of a baseline of understanding what do I mean by affordable watches, Let's just say anything under $300. I know $300 is a lot of money, but in the relative just spectrum of watches, I think it's an appropriate classification for today. So just stick with me here. So like I have stated in many of my videos, I think there is value at every price point. Anyone that tells you otherwise, I think is completely lying. My rule, buy a watch you love and the price that you can afford. However, I think there are a few caveats to this rule. At first glance, affordable watches seem harmless, but the biggest pro of these watches is also their biggest con, their affordability. Unlike expensive luxury timepieces that you really have to think about before buying since a lot of money is actually on the line, affordable watches can be purchased really out of impulse. And this is when the dangers come into play. I remember when I was first buying watches, I had the money to afford a luxury piece. However, spending that money on a watch was so foreign to me at that point. So instead, I would buy watches that were $100. $300, $500, since I thought it was more fiscally responsible to do so. Sooner or later, that money that I had available to buy a luxury timepiece completely evaporated, and I was left with watches that I kinda liked that were affordable, but I didn't love like I did the more expensive piece. So my cousin is an endurance athlete. She was actually the youngest person ever to row across the Atlantic Ocean by herself at just 21 years of age in a rowboat that was 17 feet long, no trail boat behind her, no emergency personnel close by, by herself. During her training, she spent a good amount of time training mentally with a coach and how she could approach these large feats. My cousin always told me that her approach was never to row 3,000 miles once, but to row one mile 3,000 times. This compartmentalization of additions to a larger sum can be manipulated by our minds in our favor when it comes to completing larger feats like this, but also can lead to deception in scenarios when it comes to like saving money. In other words, sometimes we forget how quickly small purchases can add up. This impulsive mentality that can attach itself to affordable watches also leads to a lot of overlap in a collection. Despite not being the biggest fan of the checking off the box mentality to building a watch collection, I do really enjoy the idea of having a lean but mean collection that can cover every scenario. Lastly, I also think it's important to note that saving for a watch you truly love always trumps getting a watch you like prematurely. This whole conversation started when I saw somebody leave a comment on my video saying, Teddy, I'm thinking about buying this five to $600 watch as something that I can hold me over until I can afford a vintage Rolex Datejust. And I just thought to myself, wait, why would you do that? And in this instance, that $600 is a great step in getting you to where you want to go to afford that three to $4,000 watch. Simply put, life is a battle against instant gratification. And I think this certainly applies to watches as well. So to conclude, don't buy out of impulse and do your research. Next, affordable watches can become unaffordable very quickly if you're not careful. And then lastly, I believe it's always better to save for a watch you truly love instead of a watch you like prematurely. And like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this is just my opinion. Y your money, you can do what you want with it. But as always, I'd like to hear your guys' comments down below. Have you experienced this phenomenon of affordable watches and kind of them biting you in the butt in the long term? 
or are you on the other side of the aisle? I would love to hear it. Please leave comments down there. I love engaging with you guys as always. So before I give an update about the giveaway, guys, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. Also hit that bell icon. We are so close to 10,000 subscribers. And if you guys can hit that and get us there, I would really appreciate it. So like I mentioned, giveaway. So if you guys did not watch my last video, I am planning a giveaway for 10,000 subscribers. I have a little sum of watches that I want to give away. It's probably like half a dozen of them. The relatively affordable watches between around like 30 to $300. And I wanna give them to people that I think are in a position where either they're in high school, or college, or in a rough financial situation. They can't afford a watch that they truly enjoy and they could really be fulfilled by getting one of these watches. So if you think you apply to this, um, please fill out the form down below in the description. Um, I can only pick six and there's already been so many people that have submitted. Um, I also leave an option for a video submission as well if you wanna offer that up. I'd love to compile something where I show everybody and where these watches ended up after this giveaway. But if you are interested, please fill that out. But until next time guys, be well and I will see you all very soon.